Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. A very warm welcome from me again. If you remember, in the previous session we added an upload for the settings and then we said because the logos on top and bottom of the site are different, which is the case for most websites, we need to add another field, one would be the logo on top and the other would be the one at the bottom of the website, alright? Now, for my main model, right here, as you see, what I need to do, it would be pick URL2 and pick name2. We add this and then make migration migrate and run server all right now what do i do i go in the setting dot py i make a copy from this part as you see over here and i set it here i call it my file to all right, my file two. What is it going to show? Pick URL two. I save it just like that. And now I should refresh the admin. Now we have the next field because no image has been chosen for it. Now it looks like this empty. All right, now what we need to do is. We need to go to view. Now I have two uploading sections. I have two tries. Now it would be confusing if I write two tries in the try section. So what do we need to do? What I do is that I won't be needing the extra part here. So I remove it. And here, sorry, I remove it like that and here I write the accept right there I say try my file to upload the file if you could then pick URL equal URL that's right and what do I do yeah pick name equal file name if you couldn't dot it do it uh, that is if the upload didn't happen pick url equal dash and the dash a string and pick name is the same i said a try for the first upload and one for the second one i said a try it would be my file too and here it would be f s2 okay so file name 2 and url2 equal fs2 plus let's say fs2 is file system storage file name 2 would be fs2.save my file 2.name my file 2 and the url2 equals fs2.url file name 2 that's right and then pick url2 equal url2 and pick name 2 equal file name 2 otherwise what's going to happen pick url2 equal a string and pick name to equal a string dash so i set two separate tries to check the pictures if it could upload any of the images then it would send the links to the variables if it couldn't it would send a dash to the variables and here i made a new object it used to be my file here it is my file 2 it asks for my file 2 and here fs2 I make a file system storage the file name would be file name 2 and now my file 2 dot name and my file 2 and now 
URL2 would be fs2.url based on file name 2 we go over here and we write now these need to move back one step this move one step back because they don't have to be the subcategory of fs or try they are set in the subcategory of the main if if request dot method post we say b dot pick url equals pick url that's right pick name equals uh i name b dot pick url equals pick yep url of two and then b dot name two equal pick name two now we test to see if it has been done well i refresh my page i go over here and choose two now the second one has been set over here okay and the first one all right now as you see we made a mistake again unfortunately what was the mistake now we have lost the former one up to here everything is all right if not it would equal dash all right here the pick url and pick name now we need to do some checking so that if it was a dash it won't change that is uh, it has not been chosen it would show a dash so here we say if if what for instance pick url opposite this string that's right yep what would happen i said it here we say if our pick url when we have not a first pick and chosen a second one it changes the pick url and pick name now if this were equal to dash that is no picture had been chosen then don't change this field if it was opposite this should happen if it was opposite dash and for the next one as well if pick name opposite dash all right then make b dot pick name equal to pick name thus if our pick name was equal to dash that is a picture had not been chosen this field will be left unchanged and the formal values will remain inside it we make a copy from this for these two yeah and let's see that's right and we say if our url2 was opposite dash then save it thus if no values are entered and they were equal to dash then the former values won't be changed now for the image at the bottom of the side i choose the logo on top and submit and now anyone that i up any time that i update it will be updated and anyone which i choose will not be updated and i can update the values i change this to my site too and submit as you see they are left unchanged and here the site address changed to my site too okay uh, i change it to my site now i need to make these too dynamic on my first page i need to make them dynamic we go to my site and in my site in master the upper part is in master yeah here here is the logo okay this is the logo part this needs to change how let's see we need to remove this we need to see what we have sent for the settings to the first page we have sent site here it would be what would it be it would be site dot pick url to the home page address 
here we need to change the address to home page and here uh, we need to set logo equal to site.pickurl this is for the logo on top of the site one is for the desktop the logo which will show up on the desktop that is this would be for that part of the website of ours and for the cell phone or one uh, when the size is large and one is a small but we consider all it the same it depends on your format and then in the footer uh, we will have another logo yep and as you see these are the original post yeah this is the next logo as you see over here yep we need to remove this we say site.pick url of 2 and the value would be set on the home page just like that that's right now we check the website as you see now the pictures are the logos that we have uploaded we can upload different logos for the bottom and the top sections of the website of course